Hello, my name. Hello, my name is Jerome Wright, and this um, what you're looking at is a portrait of, or a copy portrait of Leonardo da Vinci. Um, looks kind of strange, don't it? Yeah, I know. Okay, what you're looking at here and what you're witnessing is a series of videos that I'm releasing that signifies that I actually have found the Holy Grail. Okay, I have um four other videos besides this one that is actually on my site here YouTube um, under Jeronification which I'll give you the information to. Alright, I'm going to go right into this because you know you don't have much time in making these videos. So, Leonardo da Vinci, what I found out about him is that all of his portraits signify in his face an encrypted message that actually has beings encrypted in his face that tell us how mankind came to be and how mankind was created. In the red and area, this is a very popular image of Leonardo da Vinci right here. In the red and portion of his face over here, it creates a woman, along with other little beings that are actually encrypted in her in her likeness. Okay. Um, the red portion that goes over to his eye, look how it's projected out from the woman image that I actually have in this red part, and how it actually creates other beings showing that how these these beings evolved. It shows how they 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 cycle it's like a cyclonation process and it shows you how these beings are cycling through in a cycling process to become mankind in um, Da Vinci's face. It's an encrypted message. I call it a blueprint. Okay. Over here. Look at this being. You can see this being as a whole, or you can look at this being as in half. It's it's two part, where the eye is in. Okay, if you're looking at this being here, there's the eye there, and then it creates the whole head and the the chin. Let me use my finger. The chin and then the mouth down here. Or you can cut that portion off there, and the being is recognized as. I have them. It shows you an evolutionary process of how this being as a whole evolved into finally becoming man. Now, as strangely as it sounds, I know where all of these beings have come from. Even the ape. I know how the ape evolved into becoming an ape. Now, you know that's kind of incredible for a person to be saying this because no one knows where ape came from, but I do. Okay, and I can tell you how ape came to be and, and, and how they were created as well, too, based on everything that I've discovered. Now, I didn't just happen up on this stuff. I've actually had an experience and an encounter, a paranormal experience and encounter that allowed me to find all of this stuff. And I have almost three years of it recorded as I evolved into my experience and encounter on my website of Alien UFOs. I'm just now getting around to putting this stuff on YouTube. Okay. Um, here in his nose, you see that it's in a, um, uh, that this is encrypted. There's a ram that's symbolic with the with with, um, with, with Christianity. There, there's um, a ram, the tongue out of its mouth. Okay, and there's a bunch of other stuff. I'm not going to go into detail right now. I'm just going to flip the page because we don't have much time. All right, here's another likeness of Da Vinci, and as you can see, I have different other other beings that are actually depicted. I'm going to back up a little bit here if I can without disturbing this. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to leave it kind of over there. Okay. I'm going to back up a little bit because this is a bigger picture. But look in the face of Da Vinci. And, and you notice that these likenesses, when you look at these portraits from the Remenance era, that you notice that they have like a hidden message behind them. And this is true because what's happening is it has multi-dimensional images. It shows the evolutionary period of these beings. It shows them going, if you look at this image, I can change the face of Leonardo da Vinci with these, in, um, with these in, uh, encrypted messages over and over again because what happens is these beings are shown in their evolutionary stages of, of, of how they evolved into becoming man. And da Vinci is here obviously because he knew the secret. You know what I mean? And this is how come these messages are encrypted and these blueprints are encrypted in his face. But if you were to look and at practically every portion in his face and in his hair, this man has the encrypted blueprint to ask man, how mankind was created. Now I'm going to call your attention right here underneath his eye. 
there's a reptilian being there okay right there then next to the reptilian being is a ram that's encrypted next to the reptilian being and look how small this is now then next to the ram there's a woman turned up I call a witch like woman which I call the mother of creation and she appears in every encrypted piece of artwork or creation that there is on this planet I can bring her wherever these these encodings are uh, encrypted messages are referencing mankind creation she is there and I mean if you look at my other videos she appears okay but look how she's turned up okay now over here again another reference of a being down here in his lips you know, I mean, you can barely see it, but there's transparent images of these beings that actually created man that we knew nothing about. Well, they, somebody knew something about because a lot of the reminiscent artists, I found out, reminiscent artists, I found out that they have this stuff in their, in their work, in their, um, in their draw, in their, um, in their paintings. I'm going to go back some. This is just a lighter version. Uh, okay, if I can come over over here I'm gonna get we're gonna go back some alright this is another this is his face again look here how there's a bull there's a great white shark there's a great white shark there okay there's the, the nose and then out of the great white shark you see other creatures emerging from out of the great white shark there's the mother of creation there's um, another shark down here with a bean on his back okay and this is all verifiable there's a head down here okay with a snake like object projecting from his eye okay another being and over here on the side of the face all coming up along the side of the Vin um, da Vinci's face there now you can go and check this is all verifiable you can go and check for yourself okay now that I'm pointing this stuff out to you watch how it takes and it's going to flow into the mainstream okay but these are the hitting messages that no one knew anything about now I have this I mean the more of this stuff that I draw and I, and I can say I mean it's just becoming second nature to me it's like I'm instinctively drawn to it now and I'm becoming one with it all but take a look again okay take a look at this because this is the hidden message behind the Vinci now I'm going to be doing, I guess it's his Venturian or man or whatever that's called. I'm going to be doing that as well next in the video. And I assure you that I'm going to impress the hell out of our world with what I've actually have found. Okay, here's another image here of Da Vinci. And it's in another state. Look how this this actually can change up. I can, I can pretty much change this up to pretty much any way that I want to because these multi-dimensional images are in his face that I can actually see there. Look at the woman still. She has like a worm-like object out of her head with antennae. Okay. Um, her face is multiple, which means she has a likeness up in her forehead. Well, besides that worm-like object or catapult-like object. And then coming down into her mouth there, there's the ram with another likeness of the mother in creation there. And all of these other little beings that actually appear on uh, Da Vinci's head, uh, they look cartoon-like now. But I assure you that they are there. Take a closer look at, at, at his image and everything that I've actually put up here, you will be able to actually see. I can do Mona Lisa. I can do any work of Da Vinci. All of his drawings, studying the brain, any drawing that Da Vinci has, I can do this too. Now, you can find me here on YouTube under Geronification. That's um, G E R O N E I F I C A T um, I O N, or that's um, your um, YouTube search. Um, general notification, or you can Google my name, Jerome Wright, G-E-R-O-N-E, W-R-I-G-H-T, and want to come up as a referencing site for I am an alien and so are you. And basically all you have to do is click on either one of them and go to the last pages and you'll actually find me there. Uh, okay, I'm on Alien UFOs, Dreams and Experiences, okay? Come and check my work out there. I have over three years of invested time and energy in it and I'm just now getting around to doing YouTube and Facebook and all of that there. So you're going to be hearing a lot more about me. I promise you that because I'm not going to go away until this is all mainstream and I guess the rewards from it all then are coming in the end, but... I'm going to tell you something. Our 
world is going to forever change. And perhaps there's going to be some that welcome this and going to be a lot that don't welcome this. But I think everybody needs to know the truth about who we are. Okay, thank you.